back to my channel. So for today's video, I have part two of a fall Walmart haul. I had no intentions of filming a part two, but I went into Walmart the other day to pick up a few things and they had a bunch of new stuff that was so good. I knew I had to film a second video for you guys, especially because you loved that first one so much and I know you got so many good pieces from that one. So. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will put it in the description box down below. There was a bunch of really good denim. This top was part of the haul and a bunch of other really cute pieces. So definitely check that out after this video. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Danielle. I make new videos each week. Most of them are fashion related. I've got some motherhood and some lifestyle videos thrown in as well. My goal of my overall channel is just to really help other women. So if you enjoy seeing videos like fashion, motherhood, lifestyle, please consider subscribing to my channel. And with all of that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so first up in the haul is this beautiful sweater. This one is by Time and True, and it's just under $15. I ended up getting this one in a size small, and it definitely has kind of an oversized fit, so I feel like if you were between sizes with this, you could go down a size. So this sweater comes in multiple colors. This is the colorway that I picked, because um, for me personally, this is the one that I feel like fits best in my wardrobe. I really liked the cream color with the tan and just this like blush pink here at the bottom. I thought it looks really nice and expensive. So the material on this is very thin and kind of breathable. You can almost see through the knitting. So it's more lightweight, so perfect for kind of the beginning of fall. I also really liked the length of this. It's long enough so it's not a crop sweater. You could easily front tuck it into the front of your jeans and it gives you a little bit of nice length there on the back. It also has really nice length to the arm so if you're on the taller side this is going to be long enough for you as well. So overall I just felt like this was a great piece especially for me living in Florida. Um, a lot of these really thick sweaters I really won't get much use out of but this is something I can wear with some cut off denim jeans and throw this on top on cooler nights and this would work really well. Alright so up next is this gray sweatshirt. So this sweatshirt comes in multiple colors. There's a gorgeous burgundy, there was like a more blush pink, kind of an ivory white, black, um, a few other colors. I picked this up in the gray. So at first I picked up this hooded sweatshirt just because I really was looking for a gray hooded sweatshirt to wear and I tr put it on in the dressing room and then I noticed that it has this insert down both sleeves that has this mesh detailing. So I really loved that it's different and it makes it just look a little bit more expensive. Also the material on it is so soft. So the outer part of it has like a stretch to it. So there's like a little bit of spandex in there. And then the lining on the inside is just the softest fleece, like super, super soft. Um, the hood, they did kind of a double line. So it has some really nice weight to it. Even down to like the little ties, they added a little metal piece here on the bottom. And to me, those are little details that make something look more expensive than it really is. So um, I ended up going with a size small. It is again, oversized. It almost has kind of a cropped length to it. Um, it's nothing really long. It is super flattering on for a sweatshirt and just super soft and cozy. I really was torn between the gray and the burgundy, but you'll see I ended up picking up another burgundy hoodie in this haul. So I ended up going with the gray, but that one was really beautiful as well. All right, so next up is the softest sweater ever. You guys, this sweater is under $12. It's so good that I ended up picking it up in two colors. Um, I was so shocked when I felt it and how soft it is. And the quality on it is just amazing. Like I, just so you guys know, whenever I talk about products, there is nothing I'm ever going to show you that I do not fully believe in the quality or show you that I would not wear myself personally. That is one thing. If you ever order anything from any of my videos or my Instagram or like to know it, I would hate to lose your trust just to sell you an item. So obviously we're all going to have varying tastes, but if I say something is really good, um, just trust me, it's really good. And these sweaters are so good. So I got this sweater in a size small. It fits pretty true to size. It has a slight oversized look to it, but a really good length. It looks really good front tucked. Um, in the black especially, I feel like it's something you could totally wear professionally. It's fitted enough that it would look really nice with a pair of slacks and like a dress shirt underneath. These sweaters come in multiple different colors, striped versions and also solid versions. Um, I really loved this blue colorway that they did. I thought it looked really beautiful. I would love the look of this with a pair of white denim or even a darker pair of jeans. 
So this is more of like a crew neck style, so it comes up nice and high. It has some really great length to the sleeves, super, super soft, like I said, um, and just the quality is so good. Sorry to keep saying it over and over, but it really is. Um, I'll give you a quick peek at the black one. So even though they're both the same color, it totally has a different look to it because of the black and then the striped. So it's not something that it would be obvious that you're wearing the same item in multiple colors. All right, next up I have another sweater with a major pop of color. Do not be scared. This sweater comes in multiple neutral colors. So if this brighter pink color is not for you, there's some more neutral tones as well. But for me personally, I loved this pop of pink. I thought it was so beautiful and just a fun way to kind of add to all the darkness that comes with autumn. So I ended up going with a size small with this sweater. It is a little bit, again, oversized, so if you're between sizes, you could definitely size down in this. Um, the material on this is very similar to the first one I showed you. It's more of like a cotton, and it has kind of a thicker weave to it, so it's more breathable. So again, it, this would be perfect paired with either even shorts, denim, when it gets cooler out at night, um, if you live somewhere hotter like I do in Florida. So the neck on this is between like a boat neck and a crew neck, so it's just a little bit looser of a neck has some really great length to the sleeves, and then the bottom of this is tiered. So it's a little bit shorter in front, and then it gets longer in the back, so it gives you some really good booty coverage. So overall, just another great quality piece that's really inexpensive, so if you wanna add some pops of color to your wardrobe, you definitely could, or go with one of the more neutral options. So next up in the haul is this V-neck rib sweater with these really pretty tortoiseshell buttons. This shirt is just under $12, and I ended up getting this one in a size large. This is by the No Boundaries line, which I feel like runs really small, so I did size up to a large in this because it is ribbed. I didn't really want it to show any tugging, especially in the chest area, and it still has a really nice fit to it. Um, I actually ended up getting this in the black as well, and I wore it last night for date night, so I will definitely insert um, some footage of that one as well, but um, right now I have it here in this kind of army green with the striping detail that has kind of like a pumpkin orange and kind of like a yellow mustard color stripe in it so really beautiful for fall so what really attracted me to this shirt is these tortoiseshell buttons i thought they looked really nice kind of giving this shirt an overall more expensive look and it's just a really great option to layer on top of and for me living in florida it's lightweight enough that i can wear this into the fall and still kind of have those fall vibes so it also has really good length to it last night i paired it with a pair of high-waisted denim with a straight leg to it so i felt like it looked really nice tucked in um, that's the way i really prefer to wear this i think it just gives a really streamlined look so this does come in a bunch of other colors as well so i would check those out if you're really not into this green stripe or the black um, there are some more color options in this as well. So next up is this plaid shirt. As you can tell, I kind of love a plaid shirt. This one is in a long sleeve version. It's just under $16 and I got this one in a size small. So I feel like you can never have too many plaid shirts. They look so cute layered on top of things or just tied around your waist. I just really love the colors of this one. It's got like the navy blue and teal with like a little bit of white and red in, in the plaid detail. So this comes in lots of other plaid prints as well. This one just happened to be my favorite. So a few details on this shirt that I really liked. First off is the length that has a really nice length to it, but also more of a slimmer fit. So it's not something where it's going to be really overly baggy. Unless you wanted to size up and make it a little baggier and longer, you could definitely do that. So the other thing I really like about this shirt is it has that one piece that does button up here. So when you roll your sleeve up, it will stay up that way. It can be really annoying if you want a rolled up sleeve and it keeps falling down. So I always love when they add that detail to shirts. So I feel like you can never have too many plaid shirts and the price point on this is really great and the quality is really good. So um, if you don't love this coloring, I would definitely check out the other colors it comes in as well. So up next I have a cardigan. It is in this beautiful like dove gray color. It comes in multiple other colors as well. This one was just under $19 and I got it in a size small. This is definitely an oversized cardigan. It's kind of give you, gonna give you that really oversized look even through the sleeves. It has kind of that puffier sleeve, but then it gets like really fitted here at the wrist. So it folds over and falls really nicely. So the material on this is nice and soft. It's not scratchy whatsoever. In the sleeves and across the front, the knitting is even wider with some really bigger holes in it. So it will be not really hot. It's definitely a cozy warmer sweater. It's not as lightweight as some of the other sweaters I showed you earlier. 
um, but it definitely has a thicker weave so some air will be getting through it so it'll, it's a really great layering piece this is like great even to wear over dresses it has just a really good length to it the style of it just I think looks way more expensive than it is especially with the detailing that they added all down the front so up next in the haul is this half zip sweatshirt that I ended up getting in two colors again because I loved it so much sorry you guys I know I keep saying that but some of these pieces were just so good and they're really affordable so I did grab two colors because they're things that I know I'll get a ton of use out of so I feel like even though these again are the same shirt, they do look a lot different because I got the black which has this rose gold and this burgundy which has more of the gunmetal zipper. So again because of the details on these I feel like they look way more expensive than they are. The first details that I'm really loving especially on the black is this rose gold zipper and they even did the rose gold right around the little ties so I feel like that looks really nice and expensive looking. Even the way the collar stands up, it's like a really thick, nice material, so the structure of the jacket is really nice. So here's a peek at the burgundy as well. This one has the gunmetal zipper here. These do come in multiple other colors as well. I really liked the more ivory one, which has the rose gold zipper, but with having a toddler and just the way I am, I didn't really trust myself to have a white pullover. I knew I would be covered in stuff by the end of the day, so I did grab these two darker colors, but that ivory color is really beautiful as well. All right, so up next is another cardigan. This one I feel like is a little bit more casual than the other one I showed you. It's just under $16, and I got this one in a size small. So to me, the fun details of this are in the back. It does kind of this lace up thing here through the back so it gives some really fun detail from behind. It also has a little hood on it and some really great front pockets. It is a little bit more on the oversized side but it's more fitted through the arms than the other one I showed you. Again it has some really good length so it's definitely going to cover up the booty. Um, it's something you could also pair on top of dresses so it has that good length to it as well. So just another great soft cozy cardigan option for you for fall. All right, so we are down to the last item of the haul and it's this beautiful camel backpack. This comes in a couple other colors as well, but I really, really love this color. And I plan on using this kind of in place of my bigger diaper bag. I have a toddler who is about to turn two, so I just don't need as much stuff anymore. But sometimes my purse is not enough to carry all he needs. And my diaper bag is like too big to carry everything he needs. So I thought this was a really great in-between size, but even if you're not a mom, I thought the quality on this just looks really great and it looks really cute, especially this color for fall. So to get in and out of the bag, there's like a little magnetic closure and then a drawstring close, which is really nice so you can really cinch it up. But then it opens nice and big so you can really get down inside of everything in there. It has these two zip pockets here in front, which is really nice to throw your cell phone or anything you wanna access really easily. And then inside the bag, you have another little zipper closure here in the back to help anything that you don't want to fall to the bottom. It also has this great handle here. And then these two straps here in the back that are completely adjustable. It says you can wear this as a crossbody as well. But to me, I feel like it would just look a little funny as a crossbody. It's a little too big, I think, to wear that style, but it is an option you have with this backpack. So the material on this is a faux leather, so obviously it'll wipe up really nicely. It's actually really similar looking and feeling to my freshly picked diaper bag that I think I paid like $150 for. So um, if you do have like a smaller baby, there is no cup holders or anything that is really nice and convenient to have for a diaper bag, but this is a great option if you're needing something to just run around and store a lot of stuff and carry it really easily as a backpack. So. Love this color for fall, and I think it's just a really high quality looking item that looks way more expensive than it is. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.